So welcome back to one last holiday vlog of the winter. And just like last February, we went away for my fiance's birthday. And we've got a couple of new additions to the family, these bikes. You've accidentally locked hands in. <laughs> you see Where is he? I think that's his nose. Are you coming out, do you what? Hey, come on. So we couldn't wait to go to the new forest, test them out, our new bike rack as well. And a few months ago, my in-laws gave us their old bikes so we could test them out. And because we'd fallen in love with it, and my bike wasn't suitable for the terrain that we'd been doing, we'd treated ourselves to these ones from Halfords. And we wanted to look for a really nice campsite with a nice warm shower block because it was really cold. <laughs> so I can't remember the name of this one. I will leave a link below. £17 a night, really peaceful, felt secure. But at that price, I do expect showers to be included. They were £1 for 20 minutes. It was freezing in there with little to no insulation and a thin plastic roof. And we'd booked here for three nights. So tied the bikes up and it's time for tea. Tea is steak pie with mash and gravy. So now it's the next day. We wanted it serious with our bikes. I absolutely love mine. This is the first mountain bike I've had since I was probably about 10 years old. And my fiance bought a electric bike, really expensive, but he's gonna be using his to go to work and back. So we're here in Brockenhurst and we'd cycled all the way from Sway, which is where our campsite is, and I've got my ape cam attached to my bike for the first time. Let's see what it's like. Hey, boy. Good boy. Stop down. Good boy. Good boy. But before I tell you the bad experiences we had with Halfords, we actually took up their care package, which mine was £35 for the year, I think, which gives me 10% off all bike accessories free fitting and they repair any punctures and stuff like that. So they give you like a bike health check. We also found this campsite, Set Thorns or Set Thorns, in the middle of the woods. I didn't find this online, but a lot of the campsites like this. I kept reading about people stealing bikes with chain cutters. But we soon realized that after about a third time of cycling, my fiance's electric bike kept cutting out and it still had half the amount of battery charge. But as we were trying to cycle to the deer sanctuary, the electric Sonic's bike completely stopped working. He said it was like trying to cycle two bikes at the same time. But because it was still under warranty and we've got the care package, we thought we'd pop along to the Christchurch store to see if they could investigate and see what was wrong. But when they had a fiddle around and put a brand new battery pack into ours, it shorted, sparked and smelt smoky. So it totally put us off. So we tried to get a refund, we had our receipt, they refused, so I'm now in the car park trying to ring head office to see if they could resolve it, which they did. But in the end, we decided to go for a straight swap anyway because he loved the bike so much and got £100 off, which covered some new accessories. We had to go back the next day to collect the new one and pop to Pizza Hut for an all-you-can-eat buffet. The other thing that we've always wanted to do is travel to the Isle of Wight. And usually the ferry is really expensive, but out of season we found out it was about 50 pounds each way with a camper van and a one meter trailer, which is our bike rack. Hello, can I sit with you? Can I sit with you? Are you so excited? You're excited. But I could not find one campsite open during the year that had a toilet block. But luckily I stumbled across this absolute bargain with a company called Away Resorts on the Whitecliff Bay Holiday Park for about £230 for four nights, plus £30 for the dog, and then I got a 10% discount. And it was a fully equipped massive kind of trailer with a hot tub. So when I rang up, they booked everything for us, including the ferry. So this is the first time I've ever been to Isle of Wight and it just felt so peaceful. I dread to think how packed it would be in the summer though. At Whitecliff Bay Holiday Park, we've gone for a Tribeca apartment. I'm looking forward and there's a hot tub just behind there. Let's go and see. Very excited. It's dog friendly, of course. Oh, hands goes in first. Oh, there's a bag for him there. Pawsum. Pawsum. You like it in here, hands? Oh, that's awesome, Pawsum. <laughs> It. Oh, cool. Does it win your approval, boyo? I think it does. 
<laughs> so cute. <laughs> so we've got here, and there's two types. This is called the Tribeca, or we could have picked something called the Rockstar. And as much as I love seeing the Union Jack, it did look a little bit in your face, so we went for this more calming one. And as soon as we got there, there was a pawsome goodie bag for hands, which he totally loved. And just generally, it was so nice inside. Not entirely convinced about all of the writing on the floors or on the wallpaper, but it was really cosy and warm. The sun coming in, it just had everything, in fact, too much. It had five TVs, for goodness sake. Although I had read loads of mixed and negative reviews on TripAdvisor about their chalets and stuff like that. And we wanted to enjoy ourselves, so we went for this. It was definitely the hot tub that sold it for us. Let's go and have a look in the bedroom, which we don't need. Well, the kids' bedroom we don't need. I've seen pictures of this. Ah, perfect fit blinds. I know what those look like. <laughs> Bunk beddy stuff. There's a TV in here somewhere and I can't see it, but I know there is. Ah, oh, it's in there. There's a TV in there. There's a TV under there as well. That's pretty cool. Let's just come out. So it's ladders. That's cool. And a bottle of Prosecco in here. That is getting drunk. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> it looks very feminine. Okay, so we've worked it out now. The back end should go there, but I think it works both ways. Apparently uh, it doesn't fit man's size feet, but I'm size five, so uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go for a quick shower and go straight into the hot tub. Woohoo! So after our first dip in the hot tub, it was now tea time. And there's Tesco, maybe about 15 minutes drive from here. We're actually in a village called Benbridge. And we'd bought a whole ready roasted chicken. And this is why I never buy them anymore. And that's because I don't like any meat going to waste. And that also means it takes me about half an hour to give every scrap to hands, making sure there's no bones on there. He loves it. So another day again, and we thought we'd pop to the beach. And we were hoping it would be cycle friendly, but it was really steep. And by the time you'd get down there anyway, there wasn't anywhere to cycle. But we had a nice stroll and made a day of it just walking along the coastal path, which was really a steep and muddy track. And we wanted to hike to this monument we kept seeing through our apartment's window. There's also a pub up here as well called the Culver or Culver Inn, which is dog friendly apparently and serves food, but we never went in there. And after that really muddy trek, Hans was so filthy, we had to give him a shower, and he absolutely hates getting washed. Look at all that dirt coming off. Right. What have I done to you, hey? What have I done to you? So that night, I think most of the UK had already had their <laughs> snow, and we got ours quite late. And we didn't think for one second any of it was settled because I think it was quite wet as well. But the next day, most of it had cleared in our area and we thought we'd just go for a drive around and just sightsee instead of cycling. And rather than going straight through the center, we wanted to go all the way around and stick to the coast. And when we got to ride, we thought we'd have fun and get on this floating bridge, which I think was £3.30 for a large van. I didn't really want to chance it and go for a car and be told we'd have to pay more and it only took a few minutes to cross over, so we had to stay in. But on the west side, it was really snowy, and we went to check out the Needles. Luckily, because the snow was bad, the car park was free, so we went for a massive walk to the Needles, head to toe in our snowy weather gear, and there was a tea room there as well, which was open, and it's dog friendly, but we'd not long eaten our breakfast. Searchlight and placement. Do not drop your phone. Now it's my fiance's birthday. We thought let's have a day of fun cycling. And we started off with scrambled eggs and lean bacon on toast. Then a quick dip in the hot tub. We had to tie hands to the balcony. I'm <laughs> it. I'm 
Gonna get it. <laughs> we won it. Oh, he got me. <laughs> but when we'd gone out to cycle, we couldn't park anywhere for free or find anywhere suitable to take hands and cycle with him attached to his lead or to just run around on his own. So in the end, we decided to go go-karting. I've not done this for years, not since my Butlins days in Skegness. And I'm not that bothered about speed, but after the first race, I did really get into it. Well, I didn't win, but I was definitely improving with each race. It's quite a pricey thing though. It costs about £40 each for 30 minutes. And these are petrol go-karts. I'm trying to beat him. <laughs> Thank you. Ta. So time for a bit of cake and it was time to go home. And Hans didn't want to leave. Come on, buddy. This isn't your home. Come on. Home? You're in the van? Come on, boy. Off boy, come. He doesn't want to come. Oh, and one last naughty treat. We stopped off at the garlic farm for a breakfast. I'd read loads of great reviews about this place and it was delicious, but it was pricey at nine pound each. That's not including coffees. And if you took away the presentation, I wouldn't have been happy at all because in theory, we only got one rasher of bacon, one garlic sausage, mushrooms, and some cherry tomatoes, egg, beans, and toast. Oh, and those are sweet potato wedges. So I hope you liked our last holiday vlog of winter, and hopefully I'll see you in my next one because I've got a few DIY things to sort out.